chips. Ooh, chippy. He said he couldn't find the cheese, so. Mike's here and he's got a fan. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the annoying thing is, is, oh yeah. Hello, it's Alex, by the way. The annoying thing is I've already spoken to you, but it didn't record, so I have to talk again. Even the camera was like, nah, <laughs> I'm out. The camera's like, no, we don't wanna, we don't wanna see this. So I'm here today with Mike and his fan, it's my fan. Um, oh, you're taking my fans from I me am, now, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm not cool enough. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Jenkins, my Rover P6, and we're going to find out why the timing chain rattles. Because it's f <laughs> Less of the swearing. All right, because it's neep, neep. <laughs> so when I start it up, it rattles, and then when it's on idle, you can hear it slapping. So <laughs> I know you like a little slap, don't you? Um, also, we got a rubbish oil leak Please going stop. on. So, I got a gasket here, o rings, we've got all sorts. So, yeah, I think Fade we do. We've got chips here. So. Oh, look time. at them. They look good. Have you got any fork? Um, yeah, we can get your fork. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I don't want to put it on, I've just eaten. Why? What are you going to do? Probably explode. We're not allowed to burn the fork. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or anything like that because all the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it when you bet. Maybe you bet. Not very sorry. Not a little bit. Not a little fat. Not a little swear. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like one of them boats coming into harbour. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to get stuck into this, aren't we? Uh. Right, yeah. If you want them. Take these off. I'm going to get my black ones. Ooh. We're going <laughs> to... What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a dinner if I'm breathing in or burping or breathe, breathe burping. I'm breathe burping. <laughs> right, that's got to come off. That I've got to be undone to get that. Okay. I've got to try some. Bloody right. Where the hell did that thing? Yeah, there it is. Ooh, look at that! It actually fits! Really? Yeah, take that off. Because we're going to have to take the water pump off anyway. Oh, to we get are, yeah. I thought so. Pain in the Yeah. Pain in the giraffe. Pain in the genitals. Oof. Oh, just <laughs> a little bit. Why did I say yes to these again? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I mean, I've been putting this job off for the Oh, a swore. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's catching. It is, yeah. It's catching. Ow. Sorry. You will be. Oh, look. Oh, yes. Yeah, you like Fallout, don't you? <laughs> I'll fall out with you. Probably. I'll fall out with everyone. <laughs> You've got um, a gasket for the water pump? Yes. You have? Yes, I planned ahead. Excellent. I've planned ahead once. Have you? Yes. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Penis. Penis. Wow. It's in the bone! Has <laughs> uh. oh, that been glued on there, is it? Looks like it. Yeah, well, I'd give it a bit of a tap. I've got tap. half a hammer. A bit of tappy tap tap. I've <laughs> got half a hammer. The other bit fell off in the door. Huh. In the door of the car, tap, I forgot. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, my God. We've got, got a gusher. We've got a gusher. <laughs> we've got a gusher. Too late now, Grab isn't it? Grab a tub. Grab a it's tub. It's gushed already, isn't it? No, there'll be a little bit more in now. I'll just push it back in. So there you go. If you need uh, to get your water pump off, give it a whack. <laughs> a gentle tap. Where's the water? You want it? There, that's no. it. Across a bit. To me. To you. To you. 
Timmy. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Hold yeah. well on. Cappy, cap, cap, cappy. <laughs> Something's still attached. Yeah, this hose. Oh, I thought it was the hose. Oh. That's the hose. 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 The hose here. Right, the bottom one's still in there. This one? Yeah. Can you push it in a bit? I can. Oh. Oof. Oh, I'm in. It. Is it in yet? Or walk it towards in? me. <laughs> Pumpage. Mm. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Wipe mm. their feet are. Stomping. Yeah. There you go. Water pump. Nothing wrong with my water pump, but that's oh, come off. Because oh, yeah, all the I nuts. Yeah, just Hold them up that way and then put your nuts and bolts on a piece of card at some point so you can clean the, the arse yeah. end of that. Leave that there for now. Ooh. What we got? Oh. Oh yeah, we're going to need like crow bowls and shit. Oh. Mm. Why can't we use like starting bars or I don't know, finch bars or something? <laughs> what are those? Oh, because of the crow. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They're all called, are they called core plugs or? No, core pl core plugs are generally the ones in the um, in in the side for the cooling. But yeah, yeah. And these are called uh, um, bung holes. Bung holes. Bung holes. <laughs> <laughs> bung holes. Yeah, they're in inspection bungs or inspection caps or okay. whatever you want to call them. Well, Mike's saying that this one here is quite flush to the block. Yeah, not, I think they're meant to be like yeah, that. They're meant to be like this. These these have been yeeted all the way in. They've been yeeted within each of their lives. Mm. Right, so we've got to try and get this side up, out a little bit now. Oh gosh. Yeah. That'd be fun. Um, a screwdriver and a small hammer. Oh gosh. It's coming. Uh, uh, oh, and, oh. I'm, and I'm spent. There it is. <laughs> oh, so you can just see the the tensioner in the hole down there. Yeah. These are cast the aluminium, so you've got to be careful you don't whip the flanges off them with the screwdriver. See, that chain feels quite tight. Ooh, eh? So, you know, it could be the top one flapping around. What were you saying about those? These, uh, I think they're cast, so you've got to be careful. Oh, you, you can them. You can shatter the corners off. Yeah. I've got some new seals for those. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You said seals. <laughs> throw your fish next time. Oh, thank you. Are you enjoying that, Mike? I I just, am. Is that one? See what I can do with one finger. Just Remember one I can do finger. With the rest. <laughs> one finger in there. Imagine what I can do with the rest. What are you? Do, what are you fingering? I have no idea. I'm just randomly just. I'm trying to do what we do in real life. Just basically poke it in there, feel around, see if anything happens, and then go from there. So. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> there, there are sure. some. Uh, Preload springs in the actual unit itself. Huh? Unit. <laughs> Preload. <laughs> Preload. No, unit. I like unit. I like unit because it sounds like penis. <laughs> unit. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's probably some preload springs on there already. They're not very very strong, so it allowed, they'd allow it to move anyway. But that one is not returning. I am Colonel I need to be from Bubba Paul. Bumhole! Are you me? <laughs> My bumhole will not wait. <laughs> My bumhole will not, not wait for no one. <laughs> well, that seems to be doing its thing. And now he's actually moving. And that one is not, not doing its thing and not actually moving. We're trying to just turn the engine over a little bit just to see because what if the chain's gonna go slack or whatever. Um, but we haven't got a socket to fit the crank bolt um, and we haven't got anything else that can get hold of the bottom crank to turn it. So I've got two pieces of threaded bar that I used on my P4 suspension oh, there go. There go. and it's working. There you go, there's two holes in the crank pulley. There's more than two. Well, you're using two holes in the crank pulley. I don't need to be planting. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's quite quite good. Well done, ingenious. All right, so engine rotation is clockwise or anti-clockwise? Can't remember. It's got to be clockwise, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because when you crank it, you crank it clockwise with the handle. Yeah. 
Is it floppy? That sounds like my flappy chattery chain. So do you reckon that tension has pooed? Dunno. Is probably. it moving? No, it's not moving at all. So it's probably seized then? Yeah. I'll have to go and find the other one that I bought, a new one. Either that or see if we can knock it back. And see mm. if it'll unseize. I'll pop out that other cord plug thing. I keep calling them cord plugs. Yeah, right? leave it as cord plugs. We know what you mean. Well, the engines are core and they're plugs. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you missed all the yelling. I've just pressed record now. Oh, that's <laughs> lucky. All the stuff I just said whilst that was off. Oh, you just said a load of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it was on, but it wasn't recording. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Oh, I just spent ages looking for my new tensioner. Oh, new old stock. Let's have a look. See Genuine. if that, Let's see if that one's got the small hole. Oh yeah, how rusty as shit that is. I <laughs> know, it's new old stock. So it's no, it's just old. <laughs> it's just old. <laughs> yeah, that's got the small hole in it. Small hole? Yes, in there. Okay. Has yours got a bigger hole? I think so, but I'm not sure if they're... I'm remembering it as one's got a bigger hole and the other one's got a smaller hole. Possibly because of the pressure pressure difference. One's at the top. Maybe because the other one was a TC. Dunno. Mm. They're both shite. <laughs> well, I'm so happy I found it. Woohoo! One more oh, time. It's got that nice greasy paper as well that's wrapped round it. Mm. Alright, you want to take this cap off? Well, you can. What do you mean I can? Yeah. You're meant to be doing this. No. I should do, but... You should be. It would yeah. hurt my back. We'll just hurt yours oh. instead. Oh. We'll hurt <laughs> yours instead. And mine's fine, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky bitch. <laughs> it's alright, checking the post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone. Yeah, a bit like me. So, to change the bottom tensioner on the Rover 2000, you're meant to remove the sump, but that's a lot of hassle. So Mike still may have to, but okay. I'm going to try we, and do it without. We'll try and do it. So Mike's going to try the old cable tie technique. It's not really a well, I say technique, part say. <laughs> Never been done on a Rover yet, so this is only the second time I've ever worked on a Rover. Yeah. If it works, it works. Yeah, if it don't, it don't. I'll we'll try. Shit's just happened. Uh-oh. What's happened? It's... Oh, God. Yeah. Bits in the sun? Not yet. Give it a minute. Oh, God. I want to help, but how? Exactly. <laughs> this is how not to change. Oh, it's Shit. gone. It's gone. What was that? All right, grab that. Hang on. I've got too many, not enough hands. Okay. What went? Was it like a washer Hang thing? On. I don't know yet. That magnet's pretty long. It is. We could get it down there. That's what I'm thinking. I wonder what it was that went. Back plate. Yeah, it might have been. I'm holding this torch. I don't think it's doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's doing better if I move my head. <sighs> Mike's trying to get the padded part of the tensioner out. We've got the body. My body! Oh, thank goodness. Mike got the bit out that fell into the sump. Ew, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Well done. It's like a backing plate for the tensioner. Mm. Oh, thank goodness. Well, that's the sump not needing to come off just, just one. <laughs> um, tensioner's right. in that box. Yeah, grab all the tensioner parts, put it on, make sure I've got everything. I'll grab the bits, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a backing plate on this. Yeah. But we might want to use that one because it's not rusty. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, look. It doesn't have one. It, that rubber band is holding it together. Oh, interesting. 
So this new old stock tensioner I got hasn't got that hasn't on got it. an uh, releasing thing. This rubber band is literally what's holding this together. I leave it on then. I am. I just nearly peeled it off and put it it back on. <laughs> Is that one literally just a spring then that hasn't got a cam? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think we'll take that apart for us to have a look. Take this apart. Yeah. <gasps> that does pop out with some velocity, doesn't it? Oh, it has got a cam. Weird. Different design, but it's got a cam. Hmm. But no hole. No hole. Hmm. You watch, this is where. You can't get it back together. Yeah. <laughs> I want cable ties, that'll do it. You want a lucky band or a cable tie? I don't know yet. Mike's found something out. With the tensioner that I've got, it hasn't got the hole in it for that release thing. And that's why people say you need to take the sump off so you can access that hex hole to, to release the thingamabob. No, this is more about getting the bugger in there. Yeah. If you put that in there, now you can't get that into there because there is no thing to unrelease it. Yeah. But if you follow around to the cam, there's this little notch here. Okay. So imagine if that is pulling up, that's going to pull up into that catch. Okay. So then when you release, it should slide down there Start going to those notches to there so there's a little pin in there pin pin so <laughs> it's there do you need the hex key oh no he's done it with his fingers look at that da -da. So now if so that put, stays in there now like so, that. So if you put that in there now. And that only goes in one way because of the backing plate. Yep. So if I push it, that'll release and then it'll start to do it. Come up. There you go. See? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. So by right, we can load it up as Mike says, so it's tight, like down. And then we can fit it and then all we gotta do is poke it and then it that's it. Mm. So you just gotta make sure you don't poke it whilst putting it in because it might yeet into the sink. It will, that's the problem. It's already yeeted across the uh, garden here. <laughs> right, so that's now in its locked position. So what okay. we'll do is we'll put that on there. Right around. Um, we'll get a tie wrap around that. Oh, you're still going to go for the tie wrap? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, okay. Because fitting it in there, if you just tap it, yeah, it's going to go pop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're still going to do the cable tie. Uh, yeah. So we need a very thin cable tie. I'll see what I've got. If not, I suppose the lucky band that was round it was working. Uh, it was, but it's going to be easier to get a single tie wrap off than it is to an elastic band. Okay. Overkill, underkill. <laughs> this is dangerous. Scary times. I kind of need to pull that out of the way, but without the screwdriver being here. Um, what else could we use? Do you need me to do the holding of the screwdriver? Possibly. I'll get you around. Ah, hang on. Hmm? Uh, what? You got any grease? Yeah. I'll put some grease on this back plate to hold it. Okay. Right, so, what am I looking for? Screwdriver? Yeah. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, right, right. Hold in there, that's perfect, so I can see the holes. It's just elastic band, this uh, hook to hold the chain out the way, look. Yeah. Is it holding it up enough? Yeah. Cool. All I'm going to say is, don't try this at home. <laughs> Or anywhere. Don't try it anywhere, yeah. Just don't bother. <laughs> Let's go and see Arlo. You got the right idea, haven't you, mate? Just laying about in the shade. You good boy. Yeah. You're laying in all the dirt. That's disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> 
Waters in there, sort of. <laughs> Your water's there. He's panting like a dog. There we are. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Yeah, it's not meant to be at that angle. <laughs> it's just so he could get the bolt started. And you can swing it round. Yeah. Mm, there we go. Cable ties retrieved. Happy days. That's good. So cable ties off, rubber bands off. Tensioner is in. And it's tucked in the chain, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. I really hope this stops the bloody thing chattering. And if not, Mike's left the chat. Mike's <laughs> left the chat. <laughs> well done, Mr. Cornholio. <sighs> Thank you for doing that job. I am Cornholio. <laughs> I could have tried to have done it myself, but huh? it's more fun to get him to do it. I said I could have tried myself. What? I could have. Could have. I could have. You should have. <laughs> Why the hell did you get me to do it? I got bad back. So have I. <laughs> yeah, I'm, now. Under I'm undergoing a personality crisis. <laughs> I used to be a woman called Mary. And then I got into modelling and mechanics, and now look at me. <laughs> Actually, with this look, it does look like Mary. You do a bit, yeah, like a nun. Yeah, yeah. I'm none doing, of that. I'm doing none more. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll just clean these plugs up and put some new O-rings on. Um, and I'm gonna have to try and get them back in, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. It's gonna be awkward. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Where's the other one go? Here. How do you do it without busting your fingers? Gently. <laughs> they just bounce back out again. Yeah, you gotta you gotta feet sort of hold them in. Gotta put a block of wood or something in front of them and then oh. give them a whack with a hammer. I got no wood. <laughs> this is the awkward one with the crank pulley. <laughs> Hit it. I'm not very good at hitting. I'm scared. That's fine, I'll take a beat in. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not good at this? <laughs> This is the worst part of the job. Yeah, they're pigs, they must have been. Sometimes you reckon they go in like easy, and other times they like they refuse to show. It's in! Hey! Not all the way in, remember? They've got some gap around them. Yeah. Can you let me loose with a hammer? Yeah! <laughs> You're like bam bam off. Yeah. <laughs> it's going in. Mm -hmm. Check me out. Oh, I think it's in. Get the knack of it now. Yeah. This is the awkward one because of the crank pulley. Mm -hmm. Oh, it started going in. Is it in? No, can't be in. Blimey, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I've had the camera off for a long time. A long time, wasn't it, Mike? Oh, yeah, I'm that good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got those core plugs back in, and we're like, right, let's just see. You know, we'll turn the engine over and get the oil pressure up, and we'll just see, you know, if it, it starts and runs okay. But we hadn't put the um, top cover gasket on, we just thought we'd just see if it starts. 
Um, and it wouldn't start, which is very annoying. Um, and I was it very confused. <laughs> I was very confused because I was like, he always starts. And we went back over what we'd taken off. Everything was back on. Um, before Mike came, or sort of during the time when I was off with my back, I came out and I did two little jobs and I just tidied up the, the wires going to the distributor. So Mike was convinced that I'd put them in the wrong place. I or... didn't, wasn't convinced you put them in the wrong well, place. Well, or something. I just, I just made sure it? that you had put them all back in the right place because it is a thing that can't be done. <laughs> yeah. So we went back over it again. We kept looking. We should kept trying plugging it in different places. And I was like, I'm sure I had it right. And then um, we tried another coil, tried cleaning the rotor arm, tried all sorts. And then um, I just had a brainwave. I was like, we're not really getting any switch in here. So it's got electronic ignition and the only sort of moving part is a magnet. Um, and I remember vaguely about having that problem before where a magnet wasn't in the right place. So I just took the magnet out, cleaned it and everything, put it back in. Uh, slightly higher than it was because it was pushed right down so I brought it back up a bit and it started straight away yeah. Good something fix. so simple something so flipping simple it's a bit like me like, <laughs> I don't simple. know you're quite complicated I'm really I'm not really quite <laughs> simple so we just put the new gasket on um, I say we might do most of it there again <laughs> yeah <laughs> So new gaskets on, and then we can actually start it up and run it for a bit. Not too long, because we haven't got the cooling system in place. No, we should, we should, we should run it till it starts to glow. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, hopefully there's no more rattly chain. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, well, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Let's start him up. Let's not say we did. <laughs> My poor car. Checking the post. <laughs> Brilliant. No more rattly chain. So now my job when uh, when you've gone home or when I've taken Mike home. Um, another day is clean it all. That's what I'm gonna do, clean it all. Yep. Um and I've got to sort this radiator problem out. Uh, I've got to change this oil cooler. And it needs a service really. I don't know if I'll bother with that yet. Right, we've all packed up now. We're happy that Mr. Jenkins now runs and doesn't sound all rattly. So, yeah, on my next few days off, I'll be cleaning it up and ready to put the water pump back on. And uh, what else am I doing? Now for my next trick. Yeah, now for my next trick. Oh, I want to change the oil cooler for the automatic transmission as well. That's going to be a job. 
Anyway, better take Mike home now. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah,